Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Guy Gentile from Day Trader Pro. How are you today, Guy? I'm doing great. How are you? You know, I, I really enjoyed your publicist pitch to me about uh, really your perspective in general about self-accredited investors directing their own trading accounts. And I had a number of questions already prepared for you at the uh, prior to this interview, but what I really want to talk to you about today is number one scams online and what people are doing to to move stock and trends you're seeing today that you've never seen before I know our audience would be genuinely interested in that and this is what you do for a living right you watch the markets so you're, you're seeing algorithms that are quite unique I'm sure that's right um, every, every day they're tweaking those algos to basically try to take advantage of uh, the market and uh, what what I basically do is try and spot what the algorithms are trying to do and try to best trade around them so that number one, we can make money and that my followers and my communities can also number one, not get hurt in trading them. No, no, know when not to go long, know when not to go short and, and vice versa, actually know when to stay away because there's times we don't know what the stock is going to do. If they're, are they going to pull the rug or are they going to ramp 2 million shares of buying into it just to like get it to push higher because they caught enough shorts in it. So that, that's basically what I do is I'm watching every little tick like a hawk on the, the stocks that are in play. So if it's not in play, I'm not watching it. People are, what do you think about this stock? What do you think? I, I don't care about those stocks. I'm looking at where the action is. Where the action is is where the volume is. And that, that's what I laser focus on. Okay. And isn't it true, however, that sometimes uh, there's groups that create a situation of volume to provide a... I don't know, a nuance of action when there really is no action. How do you respond to that? Yeah, so basically what we there's different forms of it. One of them we call a, a chat room pump. So you, there's some chat rooms out there that have that have thousands and thousands and thousands of followers. There's one of them this morning uh, in the pre-market, he was running a live show. He had 8,500 people watching it. And a friend of mine asked, hey, tune into this. And he's like, hey, I'm going long this stock, guys. The stock rips two points. As soon as he tunes off his channel at 9.30, it immediately just rug pull right down two points. So it's like, yeah, could, could those be perceived as a fraud? Potentially. I, I don't do that. So. Um, and of course, in reading about your background, you know, I think you were telling me just before this interview that you're an entrepreneur and you're committed to uh, trading. Trading is a lifestyle for you and you like building your community. Is that correct? Correct. Tra trading and having a community, it's like it goes hand in hand. I don't want to, just like you don't want to fly a plane by yourself, you don't want to trade by yourself, you kind of want to have someone there. Even if you are the mentor, you still want to have someone there because it keeps you accountable. Right? So, um, you know, you know, the other traders that I'm trading with, they're, um, Sometimes like, hey, what do you think about this? I'm like, hey, wait, well, what do you think about that? Or, you know, this, just bouncing ideas back and forth. It's really helpful. Um, and again, the main point is about trading is risk management, right? So like I'm also helping my traders manage risk. That's the most important thing about stocks is you can throw a dart on 10 different names, long or short, and go up or down. You don't know. But if you manage your risk right, that's the most important thing. All right, well, let me throw something else at you. I, let's pretend I'm a CEO of a public company, and, and I've worked with over a 1,000 public companies in the last two decades, and um, I'm trading it. You know, My valuation is half my revenue for last year, and I can't seem to get any trading volume. And as you mentioned, I need to have a community. How do I get this community? How do I get the attention of a, a, you know, a day trader pro group? You know, what do I do? Do I buy an ad on your website, Guy? I mean, what, what is, what, how would you tell these CEOs to engage, you know, active uh, retail audience? Well, I mean, if a, if a CEO of a company wants to bring interest to his company, he should hire a public relations company. He shouldn't be trying to do that himself. That's my personal opinion. Um, I would not run an ad for a CEO that is running a pubco on my website. Um, so I, I, I wouldn't know what to tell them other than go find uh, a public relations person. I know someone that's very good, actually. 
but but that's not the business I'm in. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. But you know, it goes back and forth. The CEO has got to have an audience, and the audience has got to have great stories to follow. Or are you just doing this completely on technical reasons? I'm just curious. I I don't talk to CEOs of companies um, unless I'm buying five or ten percent of a company. That's the only time I'm going to try and reach out to them. And most of the time I'm not even reaching them. I'm reaching their investors relations companies because they're not usually not small companies. Uh, the last company that I bought close to 10% was uh, LCI, you know, uh, bought it around five bucks about a year and a half ago, went to 15. It was based on research, based on technical, short interest, fundamentals. It was based on many different factors. But no, generally when I'm buying a stock, I'm looking at um, more than just technicals, I'm looking at who are the institutional owners, how much institutional owners, how many shorts are there in the stock, how many were there last week, how many were there yesterday, how many Robinhood traders bought yesterday, how many bought over the last week, you know, what is the float, you know, um, I'm looking at what is the news flow, and then I look at the chart to basically figure out um, when is the right timing to go long or short. So that's kind of like my process of a trade. Okay. And so if you were giving someone advice, I'm sure there's a lot of people at home now with COVID-19. You are you must be tripling. What are you, quadrupling your following? How's it, how's it going? Well, I mean, just if you wanted to follow uh, my numbers just on Twitter, it's, it's doubled over the last three months for sure. And, and yeah, the number of users that are, that are members in the community have more than doubled. And, and that's a trend that's, you know, throughout the whole industry, because it's one of the businesses that are going to do really well is brokerage and brokerage and trading education are going to do really well in a COVID environment. And I believe even a post COVID in COVID environment. Okay. So, so say I've seen this interview and I would like to to access your trading program, okay? And I think that maybe I should become a day trader. What would you tell that person? What, do you, what makes a good day trader for trading their own portfolio? Well, it is not for everyone, right? So you do need to have a, a lot of time to put into this. Um, I am given a two week free trial right now, so this way, People don't have to commit to cash to basically start learning and seeing how we do it. I am a professional trader. I've been trading in a professional capacity for a really long time. So you want to trade with someone that is a, a pro that you're going to learn from. Someone that when you're in my chat room, I don't just say, hey, buy X, Y, Z. And no reason why other than maybe technical chart pattern. No. Or no, I'm giving you... you know, a real breakdown analysis of why I'm going long, long or short on this. Can you tell us uh, what you think about the overall day trading market moving forward? I know a lot of people don't give day trading the right, it kind of has, wrong neg has negative connotations with some people. I don't think it should, but can you just comment about you know, where you see that going as a result of COVID-19 or just in general with all the technology? Well, I will tell you from experience that I've been in the market from pre, you know, 1999 market bubble when we had something very similar happen. Everyone was day trading in 1999 and 2000. You know, like the doorman of a New York City building is day trading, your taxi guy is day trading. Everyone was day trading at that time. I'm seeing the same type of behavior now where where like my uncle and cousins are calling me and saying, oh, "I just bought this stock, I did this." And like they never traded before, and now everyone is trading. My wife's friends are trading. Like that's just it. Just people that don't really have any idea about the market are, are in the market. So what I think is going to happen is going to be guess what? More regulations. That's what happened in in two thousand and one when when uh, they came out with this pattern day trading rule where you cannot day trade unless you have twenty five thousand in your account. Well, what's going to happen is when this bubble finally bursts. And everyone loses a lot of money, right? Because it's going to happen. It's inevitable. You know, they're going to look to blame someone. It's going to be the broker's fault for sure, because they're the ones who have all the money. And they're going to come out with rules and regulations to try and stem people from day trading. 
That's what I see happening in the future. But for now, it's the Wild West. Bring it on. Right. So I, I love it. I, I love the action because right now, the more retail you have in the market, the easier it is for someone like me to make money because retail is known as dumb money. I try to teach my people how to be the smart money, right? To trade against the average retail that's just piling in, buying the highs. We're selling the highs. They're, you know, something's tanking. We're, we're buying the lows. They're selling the lows because they're, they're making fear and greed work against them. We try to make it work for us. So we get, we're getting exaggerated moves in the market because there's so much retail. But once they go away, it's going to be way harder to trade because guess who you're trading against then? Then you're trading against other pros like me, and you're trading against high frequency algorithms that are smarter than I am, right? That have more money than I do, right? So right now, this is the gravy chain to be a day trader. As long as you're with someone that can mentor you to be a pro and you could at least follow along a pro, um, on your own, it's like trying to fly a jet by yourself, like you're going to crash. Well, I'll tell you, thank you so much for your, uh, your experience and sharing that with us today. We appreciate it, Guy. No problem.